The following program has been sponsored by generous friends and partners of Fred Jordan Missions. Sometimes it takes history a long time to reveal where you get your strength. Hi, I'm Joe Jordan. We're on the roof of Fred Jordan Mission here in downtown LA, and I'm here with Gina and Christy, and we are excited today to talk to you about something that really, it, it kind of deals with us all at some point, and sometimes it bites us all, right? And that's anxiety. You know, with different changes in our world, different changes in our lives, jobs, finances, health issues, change can sometimes bring about a lot of anxiety and stress and so we want to talk about that today so Gina what's your thought on that topic and how does it affect your life well Joe I've been hit with anxiety so many times over my life and when I was a young girl the first time it really just overwhelmed me and almost crippled me and I mean it's a real thing when it hits you I mean it can you know your heart can just start racing you get this feeling of like doom and gloom and it's just like it's frightening it really is um, and then I realized you know it was what I was dwelling on you know when I was thinking about that situation and then you start thinking about how you're feeling and it really just can cripple you and so at that time those years ago um, Philippians 4 6 just came to mind and it was don't worry instead pray cast all your cares and anxieties on the Lord and thank him in advance for all what he's doing and let his peace um, fill your heart and your mind and that really really is what back then how God revealed himself to me has just stayed with me all these years so every time I start feeling it creep up I just stop I refocus of what I'm thinking on and uh, put my mind right on God's Word yeah it brings a lot of peace doesn't it yes. Yeah, that, that verse that you just brought up, I have right here, uh, Philippians 6 and 7, don't be anxious about anything, mm -hmm. but in everything, every situation by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, mm -hmm. present your request to God and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. And prayer can erase a lot of anxiety and a lot of stress and give us peace of mind. And when we're feeling anxious, when we're feeling anxiety, if we will just follow God's word and trust him, take it to him and ask him to help just carry us through it, mm -hmm. it really makes a difference. It what do you really think about is. that, Christine? Yeah, you know, I have struggled with anxiety for so many years. And, you know, I don't think it's just one generation, not just young people, all ages struggle with it. But I mean, I've struggled with it for more than a decade for sure. And, you know, I think it comes from this belief of in the moment that I have the ability to fix things. I have the ability to make it better. And, you know, it's not, I think, I think the older we get or the more we grow in God, we realize that, you know, we can't fix everything. Some things are just beyond our ability. Some things are just beyond our education, our knowledge, our willpower, everything. And in those moments when we just feel stuck, those are the moments that we can find God's peace that you know surpasses that understanding, that it surpasses our ability, it yeah. surpasses our knowledge, our education, or whatever might be holding us in that state of anxiety, you know? Mm -hmm. So I think realizing that God has our back, you know, just it like does. a best friend or mm -hmm. a relationship that you can count on, you know, God has our back and it's just something yeah. that gives me so much peace. It's yeah, so good. He does. And you know, 
you think about it, and as a dad and your mom, and you're not there yet, but you'll and get there grandma. one day, and a grandma, <laughs> of how many? Six. Six grandbabies? Six grandbabies. All right, it's well, the best. <laughs> that's awesome. We'll get there. We're, Chris and I aren't there yet. We're still waiting for kids to actually get engaged and then married. Um, and they're doing it in the right order, so that's good. But uh, excited about those times. But, you know, I think about our kids and how much we want to protect them and how we want to ease their burdens and their loads and that anxiety that they have in their lives. And how much more does God, our Father, want to do that for us, you know? Mm -hmm. But too many times we just kind of carry that anxiety and that stress and everything. And, you know, I just wrote a few things down that, that um, just kind of have helped me through the years. And when I'm feeling anxious or worried or whatever, the Bible tells us to pray. And we read that in that scripture there. And not just pray, but thank God and have gratitude towards him because you know that he loves you. He knows everything about you and he wants to do what's best for you. But we just have to realize that if we don't trust him and give it to him, then he's not gonna just magically fix it, you know? God's not going to do everything in our life without us partaking and being a part of it. So we must always be mindful that God's love, his goodness, his grace, and his mercy is there for us but we just need to come and give it to him, mm -hmm. cast it upon him because he cares for us. And um, like you said, the peace that passes all understanding, God has it. In that situation, it's kind of, I think, where the atmosphere starts to change. You know, the Bible tells us our words bring life or death. Well, we're speaking life over ourselves, over that situation. Mm -hmm. And that peace just starts to work and cover our mind and heart. So it's really, um, you know, it's like when you put Daniel in the lion's den, he didn't take him out of that situation. Daniel was in the lion's den, but he was with him in the lion's den, exactly. you know? So he doesn't remove us from situations, but he's with us in those situations, and then amazing things happen. It's true, but you know, so many times, and Christy, you, you, you know, what's your thought on this is being a little bit younger in your generation, you know, you know God is God, you know God is real, you know he's all powerful and almighty and gracious and loving, but sometimes we just kind of hold on to those stressors and that anxiety ourselves and try to fix it. And, and why is that when we know that, you know, God wants to take those cares and he wants to help fix them, but we kind of just stress and we focus on that and we just don't give it to him. Right. And, you, you know, I think it's, yeah, it's a belief that somehow we, we are able and we are, we can do it better maybe. And it's not always a conscious belief like, oh, I believe I can do it better than God. But I think it's just our human nature that just falls into like, well, I fixed things before. Maybe I can yeah. fix them this we time. We want to control it. Yeah, yeah. we want to <laughs> control it. And what it does, it causes us to go in a state of anxiety every mm, time we every fail time, to yeah. fix our circumstances. And every time we, you know, we're pressured by others or pressured by the world or our circumstances. And you know, like, like you said, like God doesn't necessarily put us in situations because we live in a fallen world. You know, so many things contribute to us going mm -hmm. through trials and tribulation, but he does promise that he's going to walk yes, us through it. And I yes, think that is something so beautiful that in the midst of so much pain and mm -hmm. so much hurt, we can always look to God's faithfulness and we can always realize that, you know, I need to switch my mentality that I can fix it or someone else that's can right. fix it and know that God is the only one that can see me through the this circumstance. One. Yeah. And that's why God in his word just, it, he gives us the ability and allows us to cast our cares and our burdens on him. And if we do that and trust God, I mean, he really eases that pain, doesn't he? He eases that suffering and that, just that, that anxiety stressor that's inside that we're just, you know, get so focused on. And the further we get into the situation and try to control it ourselves, the worse it gets. Yeah. It's just not healthy. It is not healthy. And it's just that's one promise that the Lord gives us that when we're going through it, we can go through it calm, cool, and collected. Mm -hmm. You know, we don't have to be tossed like the Bible says to and fro, mm -hmm. you know, like the waves in the ocean just yeah. tossing us about, but that we can stand strong on that foundation on His Word and stay calm, cool, and collected as we're going through that situation. Yeah, but then there's the flip side to it. There's a devil, <laughs> and the devil is real. And he does everything that he can to take our fears and our stresses and our worries and just turn them upside down on us, doesn't he? Yes, he he's yes. always out there. The Bible mm -hmm. says he's there to, to seek, to kill, to destroy yeah, us. Destroy, and yes. um, he wants to steal and rob us from all the joy and, mm -hmm. and just the peace that we have when we trust God. Right. 
So how do you deal with that, Christy, when, you know, the enemy is just trying to lie to you and, right. and instill all those fears and worries? and. Yeah, I think it's a constant battle between life and death, you know, like the, the devil wants death. So when he tells you lies or when he tries to tell you, you know, what is not true, you have to combat it with the truth, you know, and it's like when That's we start good. going down these these situations of I start picturing every worst case scenario if I'm in an anxious state of mind, if I'm like, oh my gosh, did I say something wrong? Did I do the right thing? Or what am I going to do tomorrow? Am I going to make it? Oh, this relationship is shaky. Oh, I'm not, I don't have enough money. Oh, I don't have a place to live. Mm -hmm. And you know, you spiral and then it's like, but then when you look at the truth of God's word, it's like, I'm going to provide for you. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm going to give mm -hmm. you peace in the situation. If you walk with an, an integrity, I will bless your relationships, you know. So, so I think constantly reminding ourselves that, you know, there is truth to be found in God's Word, not yes. only in reading the Bible, but also just community with God, communion with God, you know, mm -hmm. constantly asking God, you know, God, I want you to lead me every step of the way, you know. There was a, a time in my life that I was just so anxious and I was in just this constant state of anxiety because I didn't know, like, what was going to happen the next day, you know. I remember I would I would put five dollars of gas in my car every single day and my my friends they were like that's so dumb christy just just fill the tank like you're gonna spend the same amount at the end of the week i'm like yeah but for some reason i just felt like i i, I mean i don't know if i have 25 dollars in my bank yeah. account so i'm gonna put five dollars a day in 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 my car you know and it's so funny because it was in those moments i remember that i just formed the sweetest communion with god that i would just like talk to him as i drove and i just felt his his nearness so mm. present in my life and it was so beautiful to be able to get to know God in such a deep way because mm. I couldn't rely on anyone else I couldn't let, rely right. on my bank account I couldn't rely you know on my friends on my family I had to rely on him so mm. I think it's beautiful that even though those times in our life are horrible and we never want to go back there mm. it's beautiful what comes out of it you yeah because yeah. God's real and he's there for us you know if you're stressed today or dealing with some anxiety, anxiousness, or anything else, just know God is there for you. And He wants to do something supernatural to bring you peace and comfort and deliver you from that time that you're having. So stay with us, we'll be back in a minute. Today as we look all around, no matter where we are in life, more than ever we see needs, great needs, hopeless, hurting, desperate people. And what we would typically see on the streets of Skid Row, we are now seeing in every city, every community, and in every neighborhood. Hunger is no respecter of persons. Willie Jordan says, hunger never takes a day off. For those of you during this unprecedented time of history who are doing good, then we ask that you would generously give to those who are not as fortunate. So many from all walks of life are hurting. Will you extend a hand of mercy to help them in their greatest time of need? Your most generous gift is needed. Go online to give fjm.org. Whatever the amount, great or small, your donation is greatly appreciated. by connecting with us on social media. We are on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and more. Visit us at social.fjm.org. Well, welcome back. You know, we're on the roof at the Mission, and it's such a beautiful day. The city skyline, it's just amazing. It, it, it almost feels like we could touch it. It's just, <laughs> you know, God just so amazing how He does things. and. You know, if this beautiful city and all the others here in California can be built and look so pretty and stuff, can you imagine how beautiful heaven mm. is? And God is already preparing a place for us. And, you know, but back to anxiety and those things that stress us out, like uh. who am I and what's my purpose and do I have a purpose and what's gonna happen tomorrow and do I have gas for the car tomorrow? What's my stressor? What's the thing that's bringing anxiety in my life? But God's got an answer for all of that. But you know, ultimately let's look forward as believers. Let's look forward to what God has for us no matter what happens, no matter how much stress, how much we have anxiety in this life that God wants to help us with for sure. And we were gonna talk about that, but always remember 
Jesus died on the cross to save us from our sins, to wash us white as snow. And if we believe and receive Jesus as Lord and Savior, if you as our viewers have received and believed in Jesus as your Lord and Savior, then you are forgiven. You are forgiven and you have eternal life. And the bottom line is no matter what happens here on this earth, we're gonna be in heaven with Jesus. And that's the exciting news is the end of the story. But when we're here at the world and in this world at this part of the story, it can be pretty stressful. So, you know, Christy, you guys were talking about a little booklet that we came out with and maybe that can help our viewers a little bit. Yeah, I think it's great. It's this little booklet that Joe wrote and we would love to get it in your hands. It's called Walking Through the Valleys. And you know, as we're talking about anxiety, it can be so difficult in those discouraging moments that we feel like we've hit rock bottom. Um, but this, this book offers just a little bit of encouragement, a little bit of hope, you know, from Joe. So we would love to gift that to you. All you have to do is go to fjm.org and just request it. And we would love to mail it to you. You can also get an ebook version, but we just want to bless you with that because we know what it's like and it's so valid if you're walking through a season of discouragement of anxiety whatever it is we want to remind you that God is there so just contact us and we'll get that in your hands yeah for sure and you know if you're viewing today and you're lacking peace or you're lacking you know joy or or there's just something causing you to be anxious just know that God is there for you. He loves you, it's unconditional. He has a peace that passes all understanding. I never understand God's peace because I, I can be in the middle of just, you know, a very stressful, anxious moment. And when I just really realize and go, Joe, I don't need to be here. I can give it to Jesus and, you know, he will melt that away. He does. And he takes all of that if we just trust him and love him and look to him and cast those cares and worries upon him, he will take it away. But, you know, we don't always do that. And sometimes we just stay in that stress position. Yeah. But it's what the right you're way the devil wants us. Yeah, exactly. Know? Because he wants to keep things in turmoil. He but wants to keep things in turmoil. How do you, you know, how do you get past that point where you just want to pull the covers over your head or crawl in the hole and, you know, you're just, you're, you're you just feel defeated that moment. Oh, yeah. and, and Been there just, many times, And actually. you just, how do you get to that next, shift the gear and just go to God and, and finally just let Him deal with it? You have to go through it. Right. So pull that cover up over your, you know, and have a good cry. But then the thing I've learned is just, that's where the devil wants to keep us, yeah. um, separated from the Lord. But, um, you know, and we have to remember that, you know, God didn't come just to give us everlasting life. He gave us to have life during life. Yeah. And so pull those covers back down, stand up, put the devil in his place and just, you know, speak the word of, of, speak the word of life over your situation. Thank God in advance, just like the scripture said, don't worry, mm -hmm. but instead pray, start praying in that mm -hmm. situation. Start thanking God for what he's going to do and let that atmosphere change in your, in your situation. That's yeah. exactly what I do. And you know, it's important to have a booklet like we were just talking about, have that by your nightstand, have it in your car, around your house, put scriptures up, you know, to remind you of God's word, of God's promises. I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength and power. I am more than a conqueror. Yeah. I can get through this situation calm, cool, and collected yeah. because God's given me the peace that passes all understanding. The joy of the Lord is my strength, yeah. Yeah. you know, and that's how I get through. It's all so true, <laughs> but when you have the lies of the enemy coming in from everywhere out here, you, you know, somehow the Bible and stuff and the Word of God just kind of gets set down and gets a little dust on it. We forget how important and key it is, but it, it is it is life. And I was just thinking about another verse. It says in 1 Peter 5, 7, cast all of your anxiety on him because he cares for you. So when you're feeling burdens and when you're feeling anxiety, you're overwhelmed, take it to Jesus. There's nothing better. There's nothing he can't do. And he really wants to be there. He really wants to help carry that burden and then get rid of the burden for you mm -hmm. as we go through it. It's not just magic, right. but Jesus is the one that can heal us, that can deliver us, and that can take us through those heartaches and those times. But we need to go to his word. Mm -hmm. So has God's word been 
a place where you found comfort in your yeah. times? Oh, absolutely. Because I, you know, when I look at the life of Jesus and when I look at, you know, what, what he did for us mm -hmm. and the access we have to God and the Holy Spirit now, that everywhere we are, we can walk with God. You know, the fact that I can be in the worst of circumstances, I can be in the deepest hole and God is there with me. Mm -hmm. I can feel the darkest that I've ever felt and God's light is there with me. It's something so powerful and we only glean that from God's word. You know, that reminds me, we, we did started something this year uh, or last year actually, and we would love for our you know friends to get involved. You can get a text message from Joe every morning. All you have to do is text the word Bible to 626-314-7703. You could just scan the QR code below also, and you can get a daily Bible verse. And that is something that is so good to just wake up to. You just wake up, there's a Bible verse and there's a sweet note of encouragement from Joe. And it's a great way to set your mind on things above instead of the things of earth, you yeah. know? Yeah, it is cool. I even get it every day. And uh, I forget, you know, because I write so many of them, what I wrote on that passage. But it takes me, you know, like literally 10 seconds to read, but it's just a little bit of God's word to encourage you. And then just a little breakdown on how it can apply to our lives. And I, I know I'm blessed by it. Yeah. So hopefully our And if you're dealing are. with anxiety, that's another place where you, we always have our phones with us. Yeah. So it's one thing <laughs> yes. you can pick up that phone and go, oh yeah, that was the scripture for today. Absolutely. You know, sometimes you might have to pick that up every 15 minutes, yeah. you sometimes. know, and just reread yeah. that. Yeah. yeah it's, and it's, it's free. Awesome. So it's free. They're free. short and powerful, yeah. right? Yeah. And you know, that reminds me girls of, uh, I don't know, 20 years ago, I had an accident. I was on a jet ski and um, I was sitting on it. Anyway, there were some fumes inside and when I started it, it blew up and it threw me like 10 feet in the air and 15 feet over and, you know, at some point people didn't know if I'd live or die or what and I had a few surgeries, but, you know, God really spared me. You know, I didn't breathe in any fumes, flames or anything else. I was burned a little bit, but, uh, you know, my wife came up you know, when the ambulances and there was like 10 paramedics and everybody working on me to just make sure I was gonna be all right. And I'll never forget what Chris said. She walks up and she looks at me and she rubbed my side of my head and she's all, well, you still look good. <laughs> like only it's a wife. It's only <laughs> thing I remember from that time because I was so, you know, the concussion of like the, that grenade blowing up, that jet ski. Oh but um, anyway, that's, that's, what she thought of at the time. Anyway, as I, I went through that and suffered through that, it was, you know, it was very trying, but I didn't realize till later the anxiety that it brought. And it wasn't about jumping on another jet ski because I wasn't really scared of that. But I noticed that every time I would be driving and I'd be going over like, the first time it happened, I went over the bridge at Coronado Island and it's really high. And I panicked, it was anxiety, I distressed. And then every overpass that I went on the 10, the 5, the 405 freeway, every time I saw one then coming, I would freak out. Like to the point where, and you know, I've been driving my whole life, riding motorcycles, dirt bikes. I've never been scared of driving. And I'm still not scared of driving. But I would see a bridge and I would see height. And when I'd look down, it would just be panic. And it was so much anxiety to where, I hate to admit it, but I'm old enough to admit it now, I actually would get off the freeway and, and it was scary. And um, it was so scary that I just like, I don't like, I don't like this anymore. And I remember at one point I just realized why it's a bridge. Like if it falls, I go to heaven, but you know, I, I have to conquer this. I can't live the rest of my life like this. So after about three or four years of it, I finally just went up to every bridge and somehow I just said, Jesus, I have to do this. Like, I can't be scared of a bridge in the heights. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. And I prayed over every bridge. And, and it finally kind of eased up and stuff. I still find myself, like a couple summers ago, we drove over the Coronado Bridge. And I told Chris, I'm like, oh, can I hold your hand on the way over it? <laughs> and I just said, Lord, but you know, what's great is, is that God hears even those, what people would think are silly fears. Mm -hmm. But when they're your fears and they're crippling, I mean, enough to cause me to get off the freeway and drive side streets around a bridge, 
not a good thing. And there's so many things in our life like that, whether it's relationships, health issues, addictions, money and fear, relationships, wives, husbands, kids. We all struggle with anxiety, all of us, even pastors. And you know what, you at home, if you're struggling with something, it doesn't matter what it is. If it brings anxiety and angst to you, God is there, he wants to heal you, he wants to deliver you, and he wants to take you through it. He did for me, and you know, nothing is too small for God, nothing is too big for God and nothing is irrelevant for God. He cares about you, he cares about me, he loves us in every situation that we go through. So don't think God doesn't care about your situation, even if you think it, it's silly or something like I did. And I finally just realized, no, God doesn't want me to be in fear. God doesn't want me to be crippled. He doesn't want me scared of driving over a bridge. No, he wants to give me peace and help me. And he did, but I had to trust him. So trust Jesus today. And if you don't know Jesus today, all you have to do is say, Jesus, come into my heart, be my Lord and Savior. Forgive me of my sins. I want to follow you the rest of my life and you will be saved. Have eternal life and go to heaven one day and be with Jesus. Trust Jesus with all your cares, anxieties and burdens because he cares for you. God bless you. Here at Fred Jordan Missions every day, we see all, all types of people. I remember as a kid, my father Fred and my mom Willie teaching me a song about Jesus loves the little children of the world. Red and yellow, black and white, we are all precious in God's sight. I still know that song, I taught it to my children, and that's exactly what we see here at Fred Jordan Mission every day. Red and yellow, black and white. Every single person that you could think of, from children all the way to seniors, are here on the streets living in LA. And they come to our doors to be loved on, to be shared with that Jesus loves you and Jesus saves. You know, we hand out water, we hand out drinks, we hand out snacks, we preach the gospel, we have hot meals, we do special events. But if you wanna know who comes through our doors, it's all of us. There's no certain person, there's no certain look. But like I said in that song, red and yellow, black and white, we're all precious in God's sight. That's who we see here every day at Fred Jordan Mission. People from all around this country that end up on these streets can come through our door and we will serve them as we declare and demonstrate the love of Jesus to those in need. in feeding hungry children and their families by phoning today, 844-FJM-FOOD or donating online, fjm.org. That's fjm.org. Or mail your check to Fred Jordan Mission, P.O. Box 12345, Covina, California, 91722. Please, will you help? Reach for The preceding program was sponsored by generous friends and partners of Fred Jordan Missions.